Listen, if you had known you guys were coming, you would have had a little haste. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Chad. Well, today is Friday. It's uh, last week before I head out back to England, and um, we're going to do uh, 12 rounds of sparring. Pretty much it. This is uh, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays the day we do sparring. So, uh, busy another, another day on the job. How often will we do 12 rounds of sparring before a fight? Well, I start off first with six rounds, and I go up from the six to eight, and then ten and twelve. Uh, it just it's just depending on Hamza, because Hamza came back in shape from our last camp, you know, because of the ear uh, uh, problem that he had. But now he's, he he was in shape. We jumped in right away from uh, doing eight to ten, and then twelve rounds right away. So we, this is our fourth, third week in uh, doing twelve rounds. And how much you? In this spot, does he need to be thinking about Liam Williams or not? We don't think about, we don't think, even think, I don't think, well, Hamza, I don't think Hamza, Hamza's just doing his job, he does what he does. You don't give, like, any, like, specific things oh, to like, work that opponent? Of course, of course, of uh, course. I've been studying, I, I, when I study fighters like Liam, I just go in there and watch maybe 40 seconds, 30 seconds, and I could see what we need to do. And when we're in the corner, I keep it very simple with Hamza. Hamza's an intelligent fighter, so he knows what to do. Just simple instructions and go from there. That's it. What's up, fat? What's up? Don't know. Why? How do you feel when you're watching your son as well? It's just normal to me now. I've been doing it for years now. Um, it's just normal, really. So it's, it, he knows what he's doing. He's got a good coach behind him. He works hard, so uh, as long as you do all the work, in, uh, it'll be all right on the night. Tough sparring out here in LA? Yeah, very tough. Because here you can record it, because uh, obviously they're coming home. But the problem is when you go to like Wild Card, the other bigger gym, they don't allow you to video it, so it's all what you see. not. Not what you can record, so it's good. It's very different level. You've obviously seen him at his best and his worst, and it's tough days, um, good days. How's it looking at the moment? Yeah, I'm, I'm, we're happy with where he is. So uh, if you're, you'll see on the night, God willing, inshallah. So see what happens. And what's the experience like for you guys as a family being out here in LA and, and training like this? You know, it's, it's just about being, what's your blinkered. Just keep. LA, look, there's so many distractions if you want it to be. You know, at the end of the day, he's, we've got investors who are investing in Hamza, so it's important they see that what they believe in him, we, we're doing the same thing and believing in them because they're, 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 they're investing into Hamza's career. So, uh, you know, we're here fully concentrating on, on the game of boxing and the sport of boxing, and then hopefully, God willing, get into the pinnacle of his career and then you know, everyone can say, oh, we, we want to do it that way, but then we can pass on that too. The thing will be, there's no, there's no shortcuts. There's no shortcuts. You know, you don't come here to have a holiday. You come here to work. Simple as. What's, what's the the best thing about having a son as a boxer? The best thing is a headache. That's what it is. It's a headache. Dealing with everyone, dealing with the managers, dealing with the contract, dealing with everything. But you know, you gotta. You gotta have an open mind and not, and not be fickle in the same way and, and keep your egos on the floor. Be humble, and people will work with you. But it's not easy. It's not easy. Yeah, he's very, very strong, very speed. He's a good boxer, he's smart. He's, he's very good. Good boxer. How far will he go? You think he can be world champion? Yes, yes, of course. Uh, Hamza, good sparring session? Hey, okay for me. Cheers. Yeah, no, it's good. Um, we've got, what, one more week left? So I'm just flying now, man. Just getting through the rounds. Got the good uh, South Americans uh, in, so. It's always good work, man, and, and it always helps me, do you know what I mean? And outside the ring after a spa, normally it's like when you spar someone, there's someone to testosterone. After a spa, you don't even talk to each other, you beat the shit out of each other, then that's it, you're not speaking to each other. 
but we actually evaluate. Do you know what I mean, he tells me certain things, and um, it's just all about learning. He said that you were you were big and strong and, and very hard to like close down that yeah. distance. And yeah. uh, what, he he strikes me as a, quite a similar height to Liam yeah, Williams. Yeah. Fights quite similar as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's quite very similar style, to be fair. Very similar to style, and it's all about. Um, Obviously, you're not going to get the exact style because it's, it's, everyone's different at the end of the day, but we try to implicate what we can. And um, it's all down to Ricky, Taz, and my old man, to be fair, and that's it. I'll just get in there, do my thing, and keep knocking them out. We're a few weeks out. We'll talk more about this later. I don't yeah. want to get too into it, yeah. but um, 12 rounds of sparring. Yeah. How many times will you do that in a camp? So this week, I've done uh, for three times a week. Monday, I've done 13 rounds. Uh, Wednesday, we slowed it down a bit. I think I've done about eight or nine, and we picked it up again to do 12. So it's just all, once you get sparring fit, there's not much fit you can really get. So it's just all about getting that time in and just uh, working away, chipping away. Is that something that you, is more unique to America, doing like 13 rounds? Go, that's you know, quite you unique. You know when I first come in, I remember when I first come in, they and I was the first spar I had. And I was meant to do six, but I ended up doing like 10. And I was like, and it, but it's a normal thing here. And over the years, I've adapted. I've, I've, I've become that guy who can go in there with anyone. You can put anyone in there, we can go in and... I will, we'll, we'll do 10 rounds, 12 rounds, how many rounds you want to do and I think people when they hear this they think oh he's doing 13 rounds of just crash bang wallop, that's not the case, it's not, if I'd done that I'd be brain dead within like two years, do you know what I mean, so it's all about just working hard but working smart at the same time. How good is the training out here, I mean, it's my first experience really in America, um, definitely feels like a different vibe. <laughs> yeah no it's a good vibe, so how do you find it in the gym? I thought it was like here I just think everything's so much more thought out yeah. and it, it all feels like everything's got more of a reason to it I think yeah. that, that's something that I've learned like just, I've been in a couple of gyms now and like like that sparring like you yeah. could see the whole time yeah. I could almost I was talking to your dad we yeah. could almost see things that probably going to happen in your yeah. fight yeah, with yeah, Liam, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's exactly I'm not I think whenever I talk about USA boxing and coming over to train everyone thinks I'm kind of completely scrapping the fact that there's good fighters and good trainers in the UK there's brilliant trainers there but when it comes down to me as a person and I just like being away from everything because I've said it before when you're at home even these little distractions like I'm not even going out with your mates for whatever it may be it's still a distraction do you know what I mean still distra over here I swear to you I don't see nothing apart from gyms I see Mon Monday to Saturday just gym 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 maybe the only different thing I see is swimming and it's still part of the gym in it so it's all the same thing but I'm not complaining bro it's a life I've chosen and your little brother here so what's, what's, what's it? your dad said he's going to be he's not going to be a boxer no, no 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 he's a he's a lover he's not a fighter he's a lover he's a it's good though just good to have him good to have him over here at, um it, uh, it will mature him quick as well. Do you know what I mean? Chatting to different people and learning the American culture, being able to go back, and it just makes him more wise, to be fair. So, and, and, and he enjoys it. It's not like we're forcing him to come out. He wants to come out here as well, so he can do what he wants. <laughs> Uh, just here at Friday Praise, man. After our morning session at um, Tengu's, we always come here on a Friday. Um, and that's it, come here, do our Friday Praise straight away off from the gym. And then um, from there, go home, eat, sleep, and then back at it in an evening session. What's it, What's important to you about religion? Just, I've, I've always been in touch with my religion. Always, always been in touch with my religion. Um, it keeps me focused, it keeps me dedicated. Um, and just even out here, I've met some good, good brothers out here who've just they keep me, they keep me sane and they keep me focused, do you know what I mean? They give me something to do and there's something to stay focused on as well, so it's all good. Uh, praying, is that quite a therapeutic thing for you? Yeah, it is, it is. Like I said, it just, it, it keeps you uh, disciplined, it keeps you disciplined, it gives you, um, it keeps you in touch. Everyone's different than they, but with me, uh, it keeps you in touch with God and it just keeps you thank thankful for the little things in life, do you know what I mean? It gives you direction or gives me direction. Um, and yeah, I enjoy it. It's, it's, it's part of what I do, and without without God, I, I won't be here doing what I do. It's quite a juxtaposition from sparring, <laughs> that violent yeah, sparring, yeah, yeah. to praying and, yeah. and in such a relaxed environment, right? Yeah, no, for all, for all. But the whole the concept of them are two different things. But in terms, if you if you break it down, they're actually very similar. Boxing and Islam is very similar. Respect your elders, stay disciplined, 
uh, stay healthy and whatnot. So it's uh, they complement each other. So it's quite easy to be fair. And yeah, maybe that's why so many of the great boxers of our of generations were all converted to Islam. Like yeah, Javonna Davis he just reverted yeah. as well. So there's obviously um, it's a, a step for them. Obviously, it's a step in the in the in the right direction as well. So yeah, man, it's good. It's good to see. All good. MTV, welcome to my crib. <laughs> hey, I come through, so I'll take you to my bedroom first. And you're, al you're allowed in my bedroom. Anyone else's, I don't think we're allowed in. But I'll give you a little tour. So this is my room. Obviously got my bed, my clothes, which is neat-ish. That's a bit, I'm wearing this later, so it's not, um, not just chucked there. Got my laundry, got my prayer mat there. Um, yeah, what have I got? My iPad, my water. I've got my uh, Quran here, um, basic but nothing special, very simple, come, come the toilet's over there, you don't, don't, don't need to see the toilet, there might be something in it, I'm joking, here yeah, come through, um, this is the living room, a bit messy because we're doing interviews but yeah this is more or less the uh, living room, I'm not too sure about, that was not our idea, none of that, so don't think it's all me. Um, come through where I eat my breakfast, lunch, dinner, it all happens here. That's my seat right there. So no one, no one sits in that seat when I'm eating. So that's reserved for me, uh, all the supplements. And this is where Taz takes over. He, he knows everything. I don't know what's what, to be fair. I just, once it's put on a, given to me, I just eat it. So yeah, this is the kitchen. Uh, the guys are here. <coughs> Taz. So we got Taz, we got Taz's friend H, and we got my dad here. What's the roles? What does everyone do? I'll let them go on, Taz. Taz. We got Taz, Taz, who's just the man. That's it. Uh, we got my dad who just oversees everything, and then we got a friend who's just with us uh, whenever we're just chilling, really. So it's all good. You got the garden out there if you want to have a look at it. I don't even go outside, so. Forget that. And then through here, we have, this is like, I don't know what this room is. I'll get my um, massage done in here three times a week. And then um, this is the last bit. We have the garage, which sees us outside. We have the car, ice bath. We've got two ice baths. This is a new one, actually. But it's a bit too cold to be doing that now. So I ain't been doing that. But yeah, that's about it really. So it's nothing spectacular, but it does the job. Perfect. You've done that before. <laughs> what are we doing here today? Come, come, come. Uh, we're doing a few rounds of the Santa Monica Sears. And uh, how many times have you got to run up and down there? It varies. It just depends on how he's feeling for the day. We have a goal in mind. And we try to surpass it each time. And um, how many times a week will you do this? Uh, it, it varies. It could be once, sometimes more than uh, twice. What sort of uh, benefits is he getting out of this? Just pain. <laughs> pain. Just pure pain. Tell me about um, what it's like being in camp with your brother. It's good. I do learn a lot from it. I mean, especially with Ricky as his coach. It's quite good. Yeah. What, what's uh, your role in the team? Just to help out, pack the clothes, <laughs> give him water when he wants it. It's normal stuff. So. Does yeah. it make you want to be a boxer? Maybe, but you never know. Those are arms. What's the hardest part of camp for you then? The steps, for sure, man. They're killer. How many times have you done it? I can't even, what, maybe about five times now? Five times? Maybe. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. 12-round sparring today. Yes. And now he's done... Yeah, he's on seven already, but we're going to go for... What are we going for, about 15? Uh, yeah, about 15. Yeah, 15 weighted vests. After, after all that as well. And then after that, we go across to the beach and he uh, does a rope training calisthenics. So, yeah. It's a lot of hard work. People think it's easy. It's not. This is where you have to dig in deep and... It, 
it, it, it you sure who's gonna cut it in the later rounds. <laughs> and Just give him half the yeah, it's good, man. Well. When I say good, it was fucking hard. But <laughs> it is what it I'll is, isn't it? Him. It's what you need uh, to do. Chance. Yeah. How many you do the there? Yeah. Uh, I think I finished with about 16. So it's all right, man. It's, we're hitting where we've been. This is especially with that 10 pound vest on. But it's good, man. It's like I said, it's what you need to do to what's get to the ha top. What's harder about that, physical or mental? So if it comes to a point where. It, to be fair, the fit you got it doesn't get any easier. Just it's mental. Do you know what I mean? Because it all depends on what you've done the day before, and especially this morning as well with the sparring. But like I said, it's, not, it's we're used to it. Do you know what I mean? Hally knows what he's doing, so I just uh, I've been with him for what six camps now, same as Ricky. So I just gotta listen to what he says and just go by his. Do what he says, and that's it. I'll get to the top. What keeps you going as you as you're going up? Just and down. every. You know, it sounds mad, but everything. You think yeah. of everything. You think of winning world titles. You think of your next fight. You think of what you want in the future. Do you know what I mean? It it just triggers that extra. That, it just ignites the extra hunger in you, man. But, yeah. Do you ever question why you do it? Uh, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Not, not, not really. It does get days where I think, man, what am I doing? I mean, I could be doing something a lot, e a lot easier. But do you know what I mean? Because I'm, because I'm, I stick by my faith. I believe that I'm, I'm chosen by God to do what I do. So it's just about staying on that path, and and making it come to fruition and just prove, proving, proving it right. There's still more to do. Yeah. Plenty. Yeah, it's upper body it's, now. Keep yeah. that. You need to Any energy left in the tank after all that? That's it, man. First, ty first two times of the old finish, but the fitter you get, the easier. Well, this gets easier. <laughs> I thought you were doing a full supply stuff, boy. No, no, no. Looking good. Good job. That's it. Cool.